So we're going into this. We're going to town. It's, oh, wow. We're still going to town. It's we're, we're I feel like we're definitely going to see people explode on this stage. Oh, my God. How do you feel about this matchup, by the way? Um, Have you ever gotten hit forever? I, I feel I feel like it's still relevant. Both of these characters, like, you know, Fox, he doesn't necessarily get laddered off the top the way that other characters do against Meta Knight, but his ability to just, like, drag, like, Fox into the side blast on almost like Bayonetta. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. He's just like, all 809 really needs is that proper setup, that right time, and guys just wow. end. Yeah, um, Meta Knight do, does have the side letter combos if you're not too familiar with it. Uh, those do work at certain percents of certain characters. I'm not sure. I think Fox is out of the side letter, ladder percent, but yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing. Did he just cancel? Did that just happen? Did I just cancel? How do you do that? I don't know. We're in 2018. I've never seen it in my life. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, so right now, um, yeah. 809. <laughs> what? How he's, did he know? He's How been, did he know the dash was just going to come? He's been doing that all tournament. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, right now, 809 is putting in a lot of work right now. He's not really letting Pong set up his offense. And it's mostly from his offense that Pong is allowed to play the game. Yeah, I feel like 809 knows, like, he was one of the favorites to take this tournament. He's the one sitting in grand finals on the winner's side. He's not going to have any upstart Fox get in his way. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Platform actually Ooh. helping Pong out right there. Yeah. Shout outs to Smash yeah. 5, you get to disable platform movement on Town City. I'm sorry, Smash Ultimate. Yeah, so I think I think what we're seeing here is that uh, what what Pong was doing last set, he was uh, he just kept pressing forward on Mancho. And and Mancho is kind of just accepting the pressure and not really trying to reset situations. Right now, Pong is trying is trying to press forward and 809 is not letting him assert his dominance whatsoever. Like, the thing is that Pong is trying to take it patient. You saw earlier that like he didn't want to approach, he didn't want to approach, but it was the instant he did, the instant he dashed in, he got forward smashed. So it's not enough to just like be patient. You have to have pa patience with the game plan. Yeah. Of like, think about what the opponent is actually going to be trying to do to you. Yeah, yeah, and it's very important against Meta Knight to have a game plan because Meta Knight is one of those characters, if you don't have a game plan, you will die. Like, you will I'll just die. explode off the top. You will explode off the side. Something will happen if you do not have a game plan against Meta Knight. He's just one of those characters. So, I mean, let's see if Pong could bring it back and, you know, reassess the situation at hand. Um, you know, right now he's taking a good, you know, long break. Uh, Dark Blues is talking to him, trying to coach him up. So, this, which is great because this is what, you know, this type of tournament is for. Oh, yeah. How was your experience with coaching? Um, I coached Noku and he lost, but he was very receptive. See, here's what, the thing. He's very receptive. I should have sent you. Like. I should have sent you a message because Noku actually has a Bowser Jr. and he should have just gone. No, Bowser he shouldn't Jr. have. Not against. What Peach. do you? What do you mean? You no, know he shouldn't have. I don't no, care if the matchup's have. bad. You know I, I would have. I would have paid not, you money to I, feed him misinformation. I. I am not a bad coach. <laughs> I will not coach somebody to their demise. I do have to say though that uh, he was playing the match really well. It was just a, a couple of miss inputs, but he was really. He's really receptive to information. He's really, you know, he's a really good player, Noku. Oh, yeah. No, Noku's definitely solid. Really, really and he's been player. on the come up in Westchester. I think he's uh, going to be aiming for that number one in Westchester slot. Yeah. And he definitely showed it by getting top five in this event. But these are the guys who got top two. That comment, that, that uh, coaching break, let's see how well it'll work out for Pong. <sighs> Evidently yeah. better than the game one, at yeah. least to start in the first 15 seconds. Yeah. So I, I feel like Pong is actually taking more of a uh, slower approach than he did last game. So I think the last game he did a dash attack and then ate 60% because dash attack not safe. And you uh, just died for that? Oh, no, no. He's <laughs> making it back. But I do think that, like, you notice the difference between how he's being patient this time versus last time. He's having, like, productive patience. The yeah. lasers being that far away, although he did end up getting caught by the dash attack, at the very least, it forces 809 to come in and do something. Yeah, patience with a game plan, like you were saying. And no, you didn't. Okay, good, good DI out. What a down arrow out of shield! Like yeah. Meta Knight is one of the two characters in the game that have down arrow out of shield as an option. Yeah, yeah, down, like down air for Meta Knight is really weird because it's not, it's not really a kill move. It's kind of just like a combo extender, kind of an added kill get off me option. Not really. Uh, really, really interesting move. Look at these like ten perfect pivots from 809, just to show he can. 
I mean, hey, he, he's hit people with perfect pivot forward smash at least six times on stream. So Perfect pivot like forward forward smash or backwards forward smash? Um, like perfect pivot back or forward smash or perfect pivot forward and forward smash? Probably both. Probably both. Oh, he DI'd in. I don't know why he DI'd in. Maybe he's expecting a forward throw and not an up throw? I mean, down throw? Excuse me. Yeah, down throw. Not so yeah, right now Pong is doing a lot better than he did last game. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, good patience by 809. Fox is definitely love to throw out the option. It's a lingering hitbox. Very strong. Oh, so one thing is that uh, so many times this tournament, we've been seeing 809 go for the trunk. And I think he's even done a few times this set. But Pong is not fighting it. That was very clearly like a trunk feint. But uh, Pong got back safe and sound. Lately, his recoveries have been just working yeah, out for him. And right as I say that, it's an overextension on that forward yeah, smash. Yeah, I mean, just like, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's his instinct to just, you know, try to go for these hard options. But sometimes you have to beat the instinct. Because right now, you, you mean you can't afford to do that. Every Ooh. time he's done that, he's gotten called out for it. Yeah. That okay. back here, going to close it out. But about 30% onto Pong's body. I feel like this is very dangerous, mainly because it's like good combo for some. We'll see that right now, possibly. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think he couldn't get that lock. But I think that's why he just went for the up air. But... But nonetheless, and great patience by Pong walking away from that tornado. We couldn't get a lot, a lot um, off that yeah. exchange. Uh, oh wow, that's the dash attack that we haven't really seen him do lately. And although that was like a run across the stage and like no dash attack, I feel like Adonan just wasn't ready for it because it was something he hadn't seen in quite a bit. Oh, but that's something we see all the time. Great stuff from uh, Adonan just closing out game two. He's one game away from being. Grand champion in the money. Yeah. Um. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't like that di. Uh, that SDI from Pong. It looked like he SDI'd up and away, and 809 just read that and killed him. I feel like you know in that situation you have to SDI down in a way. And I think actually he actually SDI'd up and threw him, and 809 just read it. I mean, happens. I'm not sure if that's what Dark Blues is telling him, but. At the very least, that game was a big improvement over game one, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. A I very mean, big improvement. And if he continues at that trajectory, I could see him taking this next game. But 809, he's not the kind of guy to just sit by and let his opponent adapt without doing anything. Yeah, he has to do something to stop this momentum. Because, uh, this is the last game. This is, of course, tournament life. And, I mean, right now, 809 is poised to take this. Forward wow. smash crossing up. That's actually how he beat um, Zyvon. That was crazy. Yeah, I think he's just trying to pressure Shield. And he did a really good job because Amnon rolled right away. He's like, I'm not going to take another button. <laughs> okay, try to get that back air lock. Read right the roll. Wow. <laughs> what a re grab. Look at that damage. That's honestly quite a chunk of change. Yeah, that whole interaction netted him 34%. Granted, Meta Knight's weird because he kind of has like. Cheek Pikachu syndrome, where he hits you like 70 times and does like 30 damage. But he also like kills really early. Yeah, Meta Knight also has a DP out of shield that makes make people explode. So, um, but yeah, but right now, um, Pong is getting off to a much better start and he's taking his time. I feel like, you know, he's taking his time on the ledge more. Like, he's backing away, trying to see the option 809 is going to do. Interestingly enough, you still see him going into 809's face a lot. It's not necessarily the same patience from before, where he's, like, on the other side of the stage and lasering. Now it's like, I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to just barely space outside of whatever move you're going to, you know, throw out at me. Yeah, he's playing more mid-range, and I think this is better suited for what he wants to do. Because right there, back there, he... Because the thing is, he wants to get in your face... But he does want to be too close because that's how you explode against Meta Knight. But if you're in that mid range, in that burst range, you know, you could get something started. And just like you saw, he took that first stock pretty efficiently. And it's a good spot for Pong. He's putting on the pressure with those jabs. That's the second time we've seen that, though. Yeah. Where um, he uh, just gets the roll behind in the middle of that fury of jabs. Yeah, you have to because you either wait for the jab to go out or you just roll through get the punish, so. That was fantastic up air, knowing that he couldn't retreat to ledge without invincibility. And we're seeing an entirely different breed of Pong right now. 
Yeah, he only went second hit up air twice. So like, you can't do anything about that. You weren't even gonna fall out of that one. Okay, up here. Okay. Forward throw, putting him off stage. Will he be able to complete Ooh. this F card? He did not want to snap to ledge. I know he did. The back air started to come out and just snap by accident. All oh, right, that's die. unfortunate. Oh no, the numbers are red. <laughs> the numbers are red. Hong's at zero percent. Uh, I don't think he's gonna die at zero. He's gonna die at like twelve. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Please. Oh, he's not going to die at all. A beautiful air dodge read. And immediately Cassius going to whisper something in uh, 809's ear. He's yeah, probably just like, why'd you air dodge, stupid? Huh? <laughs> You're like, yo, bro, stop, stop it. that. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, good stuff. I mean, good stuff by Pong. That was great adaptation. Um, definitely took his time with the punishes at ledge. Like uh, I was kind of I was kind of trying to preach the first two games, because and you know in that situation like you have a character like Fox you can make people slow man just punishes will come to you. Not only that, but one thing that was really key was um he wasn't edge guarded. I mean he edge guarded himself at one point, but like for the most part he wasn't like getting back aired continuously off mm -hmm. the stage or getting neutral aired and getting flown way out there. Game three, or game four rather. Um, okay, 809 has the double counter pick advantage, where like even if he loses this game, he can play the next game on counter pick. I know that he wants to end it here and now, and that's probably why he went to Smashville. Yeah, um, you know, no, another stage where like you could he could probably ladder people off the side. Uh, I mean, so let's see if he can get those. I, I really want to see a sideways a horizontal ladder. Don't when that's what I do. I always well, think they're a liar. Might get the stage. chance. <laughs> Now, these guys are really playing it. sort of more blow for blow than we've seen before. Yeah. Wow, he did. <laughs> he mashed out of that one forward air. Like, that's, that's hilarious. Wow, he's mashing. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> he's trying to hit him with something. <laughs> that's the, like the, what, the fourth dash attack? Oh, tries and to catch him again on the platform. Oh, my God. He's, he's very fortunate that 809 didn't catch that because that was horrendous. He, he SDI'd into the platform <laughs> while he was getting up air by Meta Knight. Like, you just, just want to die. <laughs> yeah, so I'm honestly really liking this play from Pong right now. Wow. He's like, obviously, like, he is pushing buttons. I feel like he's just like, oh, I'm an no. aggressive player naturally. Oh, no. that down there was. Yeah, no, he, he's definitely an aggressive player naturally. And Honestly, I feel like he is playing a little bit more patient. He's like playing in the middle. I feel like games one and two, he was too scared. Yeah. He was too aware of the fact that like, you know, of what 809 could do to him. And I was like, yeah, you can do stuff to me, but I'm not going to forget about the stuff I can do to you. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. He's, he's definitely playing with much more confidence and with a game plan. Like like you said, you need to come, to, come with a game plan when you play against Fox. Very <gasps> important. Cool. The double air dodge there, very scary. <laughs> that back air might do it, actually. It does. And now we have a ton of rage on 809. Pong needs to delete this stock really quickly, yeah. or else we might see those legendary sideways ladders. I didn't see one today. I want to see one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we had one. We had one on uh, Paul. Oh, yeah, we did? Oh, yeah. man. I missed it. Yeah, but we had... <laughs> yeah, okay. you can watch it in the thoughts at House of 3000. Oh, my God. Okay, the numbers are red. The numbers are red. Oh, uh, that was an untackable spin, but I guess at the very end of it, he was able to tech that. <gasps> that should be the end of him. Yep. Yeah. Great job. Knowing that he wanted to go to ledge doesn't let him. Intercepts with an up smash. Yeah, I feel like 809 thought he was going to get it, and he was at, like, really high percent anyway. You feel like maybe he had stuff to play with. Ooh. Okay. FBI did that jab. Let's not forget, this is Pong's tournament stock here. This might be it for him in the tournament. <gasps> a really lucky miss on that. He's not able to get a punish, but at the very least, he's still on. Wow, and he, the ambiguous landing after the tornado. 809 did not get punished at all. <gasps> oh, he did. Oh, I was like, you died? Yes, no, but he did not die. Every okay. little hit right now from 809 could just mean the end of Pong's run here. Let's, I mean, let's see if Pong can get something started because he has definitely had, he had stints where he got, he hit 809 once and got him to like 80% really fast. Let's see what he could do. He's getting these techs. The techs are so important. Spacing outside of the moves. He is, ooh, forward smash. I'm not sure if those are intentional. Maybe they're miss inputs, but. Okay, okay. get that back here. Okay, got the back here. Let's get something started. Ooh, that. Is that it? 
It yeah. is. He dies off the side. No wow. DI at all could save him from that. Yeah. And we have 809 taking it 3 1. The grand champion of Xeno Quarter 2 Arcadian 2018. Yeah, I mean, shout outs to Pong. Pong was he was playing really well. Oh, absolutely. Um, that, that was a really good grand finals. Was, shout outs to Pong. And um, congratulations. You're definitely banned from the next Xeno Arcadian. So. <laughs> hey, that's what.